Hello and welcome to this tech tip video. Today we wanted to show you how to run a codebook in IBM SVSS statistics. My name is Astrid Cook and I'm an analyst here at version one. Now we often get asked the question, is there a quick way to run an overview report on my data set? And the answer is yes, there's a quick way to do that. And what you want to do is run a codebook procedure in IBM SVSS statistics. A codebook procedure will give you a comprehensive overview of your data set, and it will give you crucial details for data examination, data preparation, and analysis. And it will show you variable names, variable labels, variable types, value labels, missing values, and summary statistics. To run a codebook, you want to go to the Analyze menu, select Reports, and select Codebook. So let's see how to run a codebook in SPSS. So I'm in SPSS. I have my data set, and you can see I've got lots of data, lots of variables in my data set. For the moment, I'll come down and click on variable view, and you can see I have the variable names, I have variable labels, I specified the values, and I specified the missing values as well as the measurement. Now, to get my overview report, what I want to do is go on the analyze menu, come down to reports, and select codebook. Now there's three tabs across the top. So I have the variables tab, the output tab, and the statistics tab. I'll start on the variables tab, and here I want to select the variables to include in the codebook. So I'll pick up the variables that I want. And also I want to bring across a multiple response variable. I can do that. I'll click on the output tab and I can ask for variable information, file information, variable display order, order, and I can control maximum number of categories. Now, again, the variable information will show me things such as label, type, format, measurement level. For file information, here I'll ask for number of cases. For the variable display order, I'll sort alphabetically and in ascending order. And then I'll click on the statistics tab. Now, by default, counts and percents is selected as is central tendency and dispersion measures. So if the variable is nominal or ordinal, I'll get counts and percents. If it is scale, I'll get measures of central tendency and dispersion. If I'm ready, all I need to do is click OK. And now I have my codebook output. And you notice down the left hand side, in my output, I have a list of every variable. So this makes it easy for me to find the variable that I'm interested in. So for example, if I want to explore happy, this was self-reported happiness. And again, you can see the information that the codebook gives me. It will show me the position of the variable in the data set. It will show me the label. It will show me the measurement. So this is ordinal. It will show me the values or the codes and the labels, so I can see one is the code for very happy, and it will show me counts and percent. It will also show me missing values in codes. So again, a very useful overview of this variable. If I click on age, you can see this is a scale variable. I can, again, I can see the position in the data set. I can see the label. I can see the measurement is scale. I can see the number of valid cases as well as the number of missing. I can see the average age. I can see standard deviation and percentiles. It will also show me, in this case, labeled values. So there were values that were labeled. And these have been treated as missing. But again, I can see counts and percent. If I go up to the top, this is my multiple response variable. Again, I can see count and percent. So you can see it's very easy to move through the outline of each variable, and it gives me a complete overview of each variable. Now, if I want to save my output file, all I need to do is go up, and I can simply press on the Save This Document button, determine the file location, give my output file a name, and I can save this document. So I'll just click on Save, and I'll call this Codebook. And then I'll click on Save. And now you can see this is called codebook underscore new. If I want to export it, 
all I have to do is click at the top of the output. So I'll click on the output and you see that every variable is highlighted. And all I need to do is click on the highlighted variables, right click and click on export. And this will allow me to export my code book output out to another document type. So here I'll send it out to a document type. I can select the document type. For instance, I might want to send it out to a Word document, or I'll send it out to a PDF document. I just have to give it a file name and browse to the location. Of course, I can ask to open the containing folder. If I click OK, you can see it will export the codebook out to a PDF file. And that can be very useful because you can share it with other analysts, or if you want, you can share it with other people in your organization who may not have SPSS. So that's everything we wanted to show you today. For more tech tips, you can go to the tech tips section within the Learning Hub. Of course, you can contact us at spssadmin at version1.com. You can phone us, and you can check out our website at www.spssanalyticspartner.com. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.